Transportation technology changed forever, with the mass production of automobiles with internal combustion engines. An internal combustion engine is any engine that uses an explosion of fuel, this is called combustion, to push a piston within a cylinder. That piston, as it is pushed out of the cylinder, turns a crankshaft that turns the car's wheels. The most common type of fuel used for this combustion is gasoline. The technology was around in different forms since the 17th century, but real advances came in the 1870s, allowing for experiments with using such engines to power horseless wagons. The first car makers in the world were French, and they started in the late 1880s. The first gasoline-powered car makers in America were Charles and Frank Duryea. The brothers had been bicycle manufacturers who became interested in gasoline-powered engines. They built their first motor vehicle in 1893, and within three years, they created the Duryea Motor Wagon Company that sold 13 models of the Duryea. Each car was individually handcrafted, making them all very expensive and for an elite clientele. It was Ransom Eli Olds who would first bring about mass-produced automobiles in the United States. Olds lived in Michigan and first produced steam-powered automobiles in the 1880s. He switched over to gasoline engines and introduced the concept of assembly line production, creating the Detroit auto industry. He introduced the curved Dash Oldsmobile in 1901, which became the best-selling car in America in the first decade of the 20th century. But it would be Henry Ford who really brought the grasp of the automobile to the masses and made the car the preferred means of transportation. What Ford did was to invent an improved assembly line that included the first conveyor belt assembly line in a factory around 1913 and 1914. By reducing the time it took to assemble a car, it reduced the production cost and therefore the price to the consumer. The famous Model T introduced in 1908 could be assembled in 93 minutes. By 1927, Ford had produced more than 15 million Model Ts. So with the advent of the internal combustion engine and the wide availability of this new technology in automobiles, the world of transportation had changed.